Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your, this is going to be, what is their true feelings for you right now? But what we're going to look into first is what's going on with your person in the current. Okay, so we're going to look at what's happening, what's the obstacles, blockages, why is it going on, what's the influence, okay? And then we're going to look at their feelings and we're going to look at what do they want to say to you and some advice. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. And if you want your own personalized reading, okay, that's specific to your situation, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And um, also, my beautiful darlings, if you are interested in getting my deck, uh, you're going to have to go to my website. Um, I I can only ship to people in the United States because of the shipping costs. But when you go to my website, if you do want to get my deck, okay, uh, just understand that the price, the shipping is included in it. So it's gonna, it's the cost of the Dakar deck and the shipping. So if you guys are wondering well, why is it cost this? That's why, okay. So uh, and I will be shipping out some card decks this weekend. So if you want to get your order in now, uh, I think I mean they're gonna do that on ship out on Friday or Saturday. So all right, my beautiful darlings, let's jump right in here. All right, so. What's going on with my Taurus's love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about, the one that's on their mind. So this is the person you have, the specific person on your mind. What's going on with their connection with their love interest in the current? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so what's going on here? Oh my goodness, Taurus. So they definitely want to come towards you very quickly. Maybe even in a passionate way here with the Knight of Wands energy. Uh, this represents a player energy. It could represent um, wanting to make, take an impulsive action because of their strong passion for you. So we're gonna see what that's about. I wanna see what the heck that's about, but let me see what the blockage obstacle is. Friends, hanging out, socializing, having a good time. So that's an obstacle or blockage. Mm. Okay, so let's see, first of all, what's this nice one? Like one's energy. So we're looking at what the current situation is with your person, right? So why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Show my cards and you see. Show my cards and you see. Two, see. Okay, let's find out what this is about. Okay, so there's sadness here about this beauty and attraction. Someone's giving advice about this alone time. And we see a friendship. Ooh, is this a situation show, guys? Uh, this, cause this can also be like the Knight of Wands again, energy. Like somebody wants to be more than just friends, but there's like a situation ship going on. Let me know in the comments below. There's waiting around for a message here for loyalty and devotion and feeling trapped. So it's like the obstacle or blockage is like, I want to be more than just friends. Okay, what should you focus in on right now? Wow, same as Aries, being in the receiving mode. Six of pentacles, which means in the feminine mode. What do I mean by that? Okay, so we have two energies in our bodies, right? We have masculine, we have feminine, okay? The masculine is the giving side and the feminine is the receiving side, okay? So it's saying, stay in that receiving mode which is magnetizing yourself and attracting, okay? So it's saying healing, recovery, and love, six, and staying in receiving, okay? Um, in the past, there was a potential passionate situation between you and this person. So it was a potential passionate offer here in the past, okay? At the head of the matter, there seems to be like this defeated energy like I won at what cost? Should I stand up and fight it, walk away from this situation? That kind of energy is coming out here with the uh, Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here for Taurus? Why is the Five of Swords here? Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. Okay, so there's knowledge, book card energy, of something needing to be the right time. Someone's just having a lot of fun, having a good time, and they're, they're, they're wants to sigh of relief because there's a sadness here. Concerns about being used and concerned about this loss and doing things the way you did them before. 
we see a focus on wanting to be together, we see because there's a spiritual connection. Okay, what's, what's your advice here? Four Pentacles saying you're going to be able to hold on to this person. What's the influence? There's a defensiveness here about, I don't want to get hurt, right? Because I've been hurt before. So we see here, there's this potential passionate opportunity and possibly a lack of commitment or a lot of player kind of energy because of uh, this friendship, situationship, and this defeatedness. Um, but it seems like you're going to be able to hold on to a situation, but there's this cautiousness about getting hurt. Nine of Wands energy. Mm -mm. Let's see how things, that's the current. So it does seem like things will turn around in this connection. So let's see their feelings. How does Taurus, Taurus's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Taurus's love interest feel about Taurus's romantic? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's, so we got justice, two of cups. Wow, the tower. So the eclipse energies are really working on, on the different people's clarities here. All right, ten of wands, queen of wands, chariot, five of pentacles, eight of pentacles. So some kind of legal situation going on with a relationship. They've had major changes here with this connection. So I feel like something has grown with this person as far as love and attraction. So let's just get more information. How does Taurus's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Taurus's love interest feel about Taurus's romantically? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. They are feeling sad. There has been changes. There is this major change, shock and surprise about some kind of long-term commitment or obligation or something about a wife around this for some of you guys. Let's go further. How does Taurus's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Taurus's love interest feel about Taurus's romantically? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. We see secrets. They want to apologize. They don't know where they stand with you right now. They have a lot of uncertainty. Hmm. They're thinking about you for swords energy. It's weighing heavy on them with the Ten of Wands energy. Something about burdens or responsibility. They could be getting advice from older sister or mother. Could be an age gap for some of you guys. Okay. There's definitely a want to pleasure seek. Okay. Yeah, they find you very sexy and attractive, but they do feel like they're stuck in the middle of a situation, okay. They do feel like they wanna make an effort. Yeah, something major has changed with your person. Hmm. They wanna offer love, or there's concerns about this new love, true love. Looks like they wanna travel to you. Cherry card energy, something about travel here. Wow, they, they're starting to see you as their main, or they see you as their main person. They want to hang out and spend time together. So they want to travel, hang out, spend time together, but in secret. Okay. They feel like there is a loss here. They're, you've left them out in the cold, Five of Pentacles energy. Or they want to spend money on you, Five of Pentacles energy, because this is clarified by the money card. Because usually I do see Five of Pentacles is spending money, but it depends on the, on the cards surrounding it. So yeah, there's something involving money here. They're like, when the timing is right. Eight of Pentacles usually is also a money card, uh, which means talking about money, getting money, working, effort. They feel like their hands are tied here and they're doing a lot of soul searching here about the situation. So let's break it together as a whole, Taurus. Taurus, I want to gain some kind of knowledge or I'm, there's some secret about making the effort because of people. I want to apologize. I really have been shocked and surprised and shook by the situation. I feel, feel like you're a blessing, but I have uncertainty about a new love and I've been doing a lot of soul searching. I'm very strongly attracted to you passionately. There's this isolation or separation, single and available to pursue, and I have a lot of regrets. I feel bad. 
about a relationship because I have feelings for you and I do want a happy outcome. I'm missing you. When it comes to this commitment, I want it to be safe for me to love, so I have to delay this until things come into balance and I can heal this situation. I'm in a state of confusion, Taurus. I want to reach out and communicate about this money situation and give you an offer, opportunity, because of love. Okay, I heard stuck between a rock and a hard place. Something involves a situation with a mother, older sister. So it's like there's something about a money situation here. So sadness about this mother situation, you main person. Changing a pleasure seeking, we see money and fi finance and an obligation, a commitment. I'm stuck in the middle and I'm trapped in this situation. So they have some kind of responsibilities here that they have to deal with in some kind of legal situation and something around work here. And so it's like they feel like there's been this massive change because actually they feel like the change has happened with you. Um, they, they know that you know your value and your worth, but they feel like you've switched up a little bit with them. Um, and they are concerned that you're going to leave them out in the cold, Five of Pentacles energy. There is this concern for you when it comes to somebody around your workplace. Okay. Okay, so let's see what they want to say to you, Taurus. What does Taurus's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to love, what does Taurus's love interest want to say to Taurus's romantic? Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay, what do they want to say to you? Uh, other people's opinions, no one compares to you. Yes, I've been gaslighting you. I'm leaving this situation when it comes to this passionate wild side because I need it some time to heal. I want you to unblock me. It's really this simple. I want us forever. When it came, came to giving attention to others, yes, I was playing games because I wasn't sure and I felt lost. You let me go and now I'm nervous and obsessed with you. I'm single and available to pursue. Will you listen? Or when I'm single and available to pursue, will you listen? Is it true or are you with somebody else? Are you attached to your ex? Is that why you're not talking to me? Soon I'm gonna contact you because you feel like home. Okay, let's get you guys some advice. All right. Can I ask advice when it comes to my Tauruses, when it comes to their love connection for their highest best, for the best possible outcome for them? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Mm, it's saying that the situation calls for you to adapt. There is some spiritual understanding or science here with the dragonfly and healing. I told you guys, look at that. The Four of Pentacles was coming out, right? It was saying with this particular person in the current, that you would be able to hold on to the situation. And you will. Because you're very attractive. And saying, sit back, slow down. <laughs> you're a place of gratitude. Yeah, you got options. Mm -hmm. Trust your instincts on this when it comes to following your passions. So that's usually what happens, isn't it? It's like when we stop focusing in on that one person, and we realize we have those other options, that other person shows up too. Mm -hmm. That's what's gonna happen to your situation, Taurus. All right, all right, my beautiful Tauruses, or it's happening with your situation more or less, because yeah, they were playing games. They were playing games. They literally admitted it when they, they said what they were saying. Uh, but then you stopped talking with them, and so now they have a realization that they messed up. So that's what's actually gonna bring them back around. All right, my beautiful Tauruses, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments. You know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. I do read my comments, so I am definitely wanting some kind of confirmation in the comments below about this situation, Taurus, all right? Definitely hit me up in the comments below. I will see you guys another day or two. There's multiple reads you guys to go check out right now. I'm actually about to work on your solar eclipse reading, so stay tuned for that. That's coming up October 2nd to the 3rd. And we do have to pay attention to eclipse energy because they they cause very profound changes in our lives. Like they reset things. So definitely something you definitely want to check out. 
And if you haven't seen the lunar eclipse reading yet, you may want to check that out because it's still affecting us in this time period. So, hi, my darlings. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys another day or two. And also, the JW Meet Z Mysteries uh, channel uh, for Sunday. Well, I'm going to be released on this channel. The JW Z Mysteries episode is going to be released. Remember, I told you guys I'm going to be doing Mystery Sundays. So, stay tuned for that. That's coming out this Sunday. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.